thank you so tell me flying here um yesterday was crazy you know everybody every time your name was called uh the fans were going crazy did you expect that at all uh, i didn't, really didn't know what to expect too much um but um, when i ran out there and got the roll call it's uh you know something obviously i've seen from the other side but to be a part of it and have them saying your name it's it's pretty cool so the roll call when they call you you have to like say something back do something back did you thought about what you're gonna do uh, I've thought about it a little bit. I'll probably give it a few days, and then we'll come up with something once I get settled in. But uh, I'm thinking of something good. So the fans are embracing you so quick. I already saw they gave you a nickname. I don't know if you saw that. It's Benny Blanco from the Bronx. <laughs> really? I, I saw a few tweets about that, so I have to get more familiar with it. Do you like that or not? Yeah. Hey, it rings. <laughs> it's, it sounds good. So, of course, you play with the uh, Rexos for a long time, division rivals, you know, coming here to Yankee Stadium. As a part of, you know, another team, it's – it's pretty intense. Now you're getting the embrace and the love of the fans from day one. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's something I'm thankful for. Um, you know, obviously the fans here are, you know, very passionate about this team um, and expect to win, and as do we. So um, for me to come over here, it's just uh, doing whatever I can to help the team win, and that's all that matters. And, of course, I have to ask, you came to New York with the Kansas City Royals, like in the same fly, and then you're in the same hotel, and then they tell you that, Oh, now you're Yankee. So. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a weird situation. Um, but I guess uh, it's better than uh, – they told me after I got here, landed and got to the hotel, so didn't know on the team flight. But, yeah, still in the same hotel. And, um, you know, in the end, still got a job to do and show up here and win. Are you still in the same hotel? Still am, yes. Yep. <laughs> Do you came with the guys now? No, no. But we'll uh, – maybe tomorrow we might grab a bite. But, you know, after that, I won't be able to see these guys till after the season. So, um no, once the series is over, I'm sure I'll stay in touch through text, but not seeing each other. So I did talk to a lot of people over there yesterday, you know, even the security guard, you know, he was like, he's a great guy. You guys are lucky, uh, at the TV. So how is, like, the, you know, having that impact in there, like, and everybody, like, openly saying, you know, we're going to miss him, we're happy with him, but we're going to miss him. Yeah, 100%. Um, I mean, those guys over there, you – you know, those are friendships that will last longer than our baseball careers. So, um, you know, a lot of guys over there, if not all of them, are pretty close friends. So I'll be in contact with them. And, you know, regardless of how often we play against each other, we'll always be in contact. Of course, you're a Gold Glove winner. You're a World Series champion. Coming to New York, um, kind of how do you put that together that, you know, you have that postseason experience. You were on a team that's not going to postseason, and now you're here with one of the things that has the best record in baseball. Does your like perspective, your mindset changes like so quick from one day to the other? Yeah, it's a complete 180. Um, but I'm not going to try to come in here and do too much. Just try to keep doing, you know, the little things and uh, put us in the best position or do whatever I need to do to help the team win because, you know, obviously this team's great and I'm just here to help out in any way I can. I talked to Jose Quas yesterday um, before the game. I asked him, if you have to pitch to Benny today, how are you going to do that? And he was like, I'm not going to tell you in case he sees the interview, but, you know, I'm going to attack him. I'm just going to ask him to please go easy on us. Oh, gosh. No, he's, he's nasty. He's a, he's a tough guy. He's throwing 94 from down here, so it's, it's a tough A-B. I've, I've never faced him, but um, if that time comes, it's going to be a challenge. He did tell me that when you, he first came to, you know, the MLB, you were one of the teammates that approached him and talked to him because you're a veteran. You're really young, but you've been here for a long time now. Why do you think it's so important to be, you know, that guy that when somebody comes to you, you talk to them and kind of, like, put it in perspective for them? Yeah, I mean, everybody's been a young guy before, and, um, you know, I'm sure a lot of players can tell you, and the older guy who kind of, you know, sh either let them know what's going on or just the little things that uh, – kind of will guide them in the right direction so um, yeah over there I was one of the older guys so it was it's a little strange but um, yeah I was always available and I still am if they need to reach out or anything like that. Andrew I'm um, to finish the interview oh wait before I do that Quas told me that he was going to tell you all the cool places to eat in New York because he's from New York that's right, that's right. but he told me he's going to tell you about Latino places how familiar are you with Latino food? Uh, just from whatever we have in the clubhouses, but I'm a big fan. Um, empanadas, I love those. It's uh, the beef empanadas, chicken empanadas. I'll eat the hell out of those. <laughs> <laughs> what about Sancocho? Have you had that? No, never had no? that. No? We have to get you Sancocho now that you're in New York. Okay. Uh -oh. How about Mofongo? No. 
Maybe I have, I just don't know the name. Okay, Maybe. perfect. So, in the, in the subject, we're going to test your Spanish. So, how was Andres when you the Spanish? Uh, not good. The hello, goodbye, things okay. like that. Okay, hola. Hola. Como estas? How are you? No, no. Answer. Let's have oh, the conversation. Bien. Bien, too. Bien, gracias. So, ¿te gusta New York? Mucho. I feel like I can understand it more than I can speak it. Okay. And um, so, food. We were talking about food. So, ¿qué es tu comida favorita? Latina. Food, Latin food. Uh, ch chicken and rice. That's my favorite meal. Um, Pollo. <laughs> this might take some practice, but uh, chicken and rice. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Well, I'm going to finish the interview, guys. And this was the interview with Andrew Benintendi.